Welcome back, I am Sci-Fi Master, playing XCOM 2 walkthrough without a mod, or modding and editing. This is live. This is going to be live commentary, live reaction. Uh, so let's relook at our objectives, which has to be done before we can move on to the next chapter of important things that will really mess things up. Uh, construction of the Proving Ground Facility. Uh, make contact with the Western Europeans. All right, so I would definitely have to clear this out, make that the proving ground, and then after that, power, because we're gonna need power, because we're gonna need to build communications over here. Um, where are we gonna go? Uh, army, uh, so a few soldiers. Uh, is our current inventory. Uh, recruits, so as a recruit. Uh, I'm thinking about recruiting Brittany White and <laughs> changing her name to Brittany Spears. And I think I have combat gear that matches her profile of real life. So I'll probably do that off camera and off recording. But once we see the allure of the Advent Therapy Clinic, a few minutes under the knife, and you've got a clean bill of health. Too bad you need a chip to get in. But uh, I'll definitely do that off recording, and it will definitely be a surprise during a video later on. Let's go and uh, see what we have to collect and get our supply level back up. We're at 38, which is critical. Intel is good right now. Uh, we have two scientists, one engineer. Definitely engineers. Scientists I'm not too worried about, but engineers are always important if we want to stay ahead of the game and ahead of the aliens more of those we have the better off we will be in the long run so let's get to the bridge and see where we can get more supplies incoming message for you commander patching it through to your quarters now thank you central you have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. All right, so 140 supplies. That is our monthly reward for leading the resistance and getting people all their supplies so we can keep fighting against the aliens. So we will go investigate that so we can get that. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, because this is the second attempt. Uh, I recorded the first attempt and it did not work well. So apparently there's a glitch in the system so I will keep talking. Oh my God, until this happens until it catches up for whatever reason. Uh, there was also a glitch in the original game. Uh, I don't think it was on the download PC version, but there was definitely a glitch on the on the CD that I have. Any CD I've ever played, there's a glitch. Uh, your troops have to be in a certain town, and you fire a certain angle at the aliens, and next thing you know, it just glitches out. Uh, so the problem with playing PS1 version game of XCOM back from 93-94 is if you did not save before each mission you would lose all your saved data. So you know, if you played five, six missions and then that glitch happened and I, I tell you what, each mission, even if it was a small alien invasion, a small alien invasion of a town took an hour uh, small alien ships took between 30 and 45 minutes. Medium ships took between 45 minutes to an hour. And the big honking interceptor ships took an hour, hour and a half to do. So you're, you know, because it was, you know, you move and they moved in hidden. Though on the positive side, when the aliens moved, uh, it went to the dark screen and they would move. But if you were able to highlight part of that map during that time, uh, 
you knew where they kind of were and you could set up an ambush. Um, you know, your soldiers could kneel, which increased the accuracy of your aiming. Uh, so, but yeah, so there was a glitch and I were several times where I did not save after a mission and I had to go back and play three hours worth of games of gaming of XCOM, the original, to get back to that same mission. And it was, it was rough. And it would always be rough that the aliens would be able to see you before you came out of the ship. And if you had a full squad and they mind controlled the first guy, your first Joe, they would mind control him and he would shoot your whole squad before you even got out of the plane. So that, that sucked too. <laughs> Alright, come on game, catch up. I do not want to restart you over again. This is, no, this is bad. And there's nothing I can do about this. Uh, so then, when they remastered the, the XCOM, I, I played that. That was really, that was fun. Uh, so... I really enjoyed playing that one too, but uh, back to the first version on the PS1, uh, I did eventually did beat the game. Uh, I do not know how many hours it took. It did take a long time, uh, but the you know the important part was uh, you know saving after each mission. Uh, the only part bad was toward the end, and yeah, you know, I'm sorry to tell you this, uh, you had to go to Mars. <laughs> the final mission was on Mars. And uh, you took a 12 man, I took a 12 man squad. I had uh, a lot of high ranking, but a lot of rookies. Uh, when I finally beat all the aliens on the surface of Mars, then I had to go into the Mars base. And by that time, I was down to five troops. <laughs> so I killed, I believe, you know, it's been so long, I believe I killed 24 aliens on the surface. And then I had to go into the base and kill 24 aliens in the base with only five troops. And when it was all said and done, when we finally did win, I had only three troops left. Uh, but we, we beat the game and we held the aliens off. And uh, it was a good feeling, except for the fact that I lost <laughs> the entire squad of 12 troops, except for three. And, uh, you know, leaping and bounding. Uh, three troops that kept getting mind controlled and so I had to I had to split them up where they are covering each other but also where they were not going to be able to kill each other in case they got mind controlled uh, the other thing is if they got mind controlled or scared they would drop their weapons and run away so then they would have to I would have to move them back to pick up their weapons <laughs> so they could use them but the problem is when you move them back and pick up the weapon that was the full turn, and then now you're in view of an alien who's now going to shoot at you. So, oh, come on, game. Why? Commander, we have intel oh. suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Thank you, Central. So I don't know. They finally caught up there, so... Uh, status preparing their response. Aliens are now improving their threat response and reinforcing grill ops for a month. That's great. And Avant stifles the movement of resistant resources, decreasing the supplies of the next drop by 50%. So next month we're only going to get 70 supplies uh, unless we continue on our operations. Alright, so let's continue. I do not know why that was so bad. Uh, disabled truck, more supplies. That's great. I'm going to push not now. All right, supply drops 140 supplies in three days. All right, so this will be our 5.1 episode in between missions, and we'll just advance until <laughs> until we find out how badly the next. Uh, the next alien threat is. So here we go. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. And there we go. We didn't go one day before we got interrupted on something. So, all right. Uh, sectoid autopsy. Let's discuss with the. Sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years 
is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Also, when I played the original X1, uh, I tried to never fight the aliens at nighttime uh, because they were so, you know, you had uh, I had to throw uh, light bombs, which lit up the area, because if you attacked them in the dark, they they shot from everywhere. They could see you in the dark, but you couldn't see them, which I thought was not fair. But anyway, <laughs> we did end up being the game. All right, mine shield. All right, resistance radio, mag weapons, the faceless. I can't do anything with the resistance radio because I don't I won't have an open space and I won't have power. So, let's use some last. Let's do the stunner corpse. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Alright. So I was cool. not going to admit it to Shen. But there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. Those damn juicy Advent burgers. I don't know where they get the meat. And frankly, I do not want to know. I wouldn't want to know either. Alright, let's try to get these RC supplies before Advent uh, does their shenanigans. Alright, two more days. What else? Sharpshooter training. Alright, so we're going to get a troop with sharpshooter training. And... Hopefully we get this done before shenanigans. Alright, Maximus, alright. Spew soldier. Nice. So, Maximus uh, is not my grandson's real name, but this would have been the name I would have chosen. <laughs> I was outvoted by the birth parents. <laughs> really? Come on, man. It's a good name. Good strong name. <laughs> Alright, so he's a sharpshooter. That's good. Yeah, I like his stance. Can we upgrade his weapon? Available slot. Uh, scope. Ooh, aim plus 5%. Auto loader. Free reloads. Ooh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking, yes, three shots with automatic round, three shots after shooting. Let's let's go ahead and get that to him. And once we apply it, that's an automatic apply. Uh, so that happens. All right. I have no problem with him having that, though I probably should have put it on somebody that is more higher rank, but that's okay. Let's go to... Girl attack a school. Dang it. I need to go to the soldiers. A few soldiers. Sharpshooter. Two sharpshooters. Grenader. Alright. Who is shaken? So I need another grenader. So that's what's good about this. All right, Wang. If you're short on uh, troops and a certain skill set, uh, you just train them here instead of letting the the random combat choose what they are. So. So that's that's why I like to build that first, if all possible. I know there's mission requirements and everything, but that, you know, if you need a specific skill set like medics, because all your medics are wounded, you know, to have a new medic ready to go, or another sniper, because all your snipers, for whatever reason, got hurt, or your ranger get killed. So. Collected all the resources from the location, which arrives just lies in a few weeks. All right, 
All right, so let's ignore. Commander, to aid in your efforts, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters for your use. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go Setting recruit. Force for the West African sector. So we have 178 supplies. Let's see who's available. Welcome, Commander. Medical scanning bonus. All right. All right, there's 175 supplies, and that's that's why you just recruit people, because that that's way too much. All right, scientist. 170. Rapid construction. Uh, medical assistance. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. All right. So, did we? All right. Let's, uh, let's finish making contact down here. There we go. Let's finish making contact one day. So that way. Setting course for sector 13. That'll help Africa. offset supplies. income 77 supplies all right uh, we're gonna end this episode right here because I know whatever we do next there's definitely gonna be alien shenanigans and uh, I'm definitely gonna want people ready and go straight into that instead of making this a longer video than it is so thank you for watching uh, and I'll see y'all on the next thank you